What's up everybody, Kinetic here, and welcome to Nonstop Night. This is a free-to-play mobile game. You probably didn't even know that I, I play mobile games. In fact, one of my my close friends, uh, Proxy, I said to him, dude, yeah, like, you know, have you I think I said something like, have you heard about like X game or whatever? He's like, You play mobile games? And I'm like, dude, I'm a gamer. Like, I'm I play games even when I don't want to play games. That's that's what gamers do, I thought. So, you know, I'm pretty much gaming all the time. And when I'm making videos, for example, for YouTube, I might have like this is my uh Nvidia Shield, by the way, my uh, my smart tablet, I guess. Uh, this is a really sweet device, and I just have this like chilling over here next to me, like while I'm editing videos or something like that. And I'm just like tap tap tap, you know, like while I'm doing or whatever. It's a good thing I don't work a proper job because I would get fired doing that, right? But I totally am gaming even when I'm making videos about games, right? And nonstop night lately has been kind of my addiction. It's basically a dungeon crawling game that just never stops. I wasn't sure what exactly they meant by non-stop night. It basically means he never stops dungeon crawling. Like even when you're not playing the game, he's still dungeon crawling even when your 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 device is closed and everything. And then you come back and it's like, hey, your knight killed X number of minions and stuff like that and collected this much gold or whatever. So non-stop night is not just a clever name. It's totally serious. That's what he does. Ah, there you go. So, getting back into the game, it's like while you were away, your knight killed 21 minions. I was only gone for like a couple of minutes, that's why. <laughs> uh, and he's got, tw he's earned me like almost 30,000 gold in the meantime, which is pretty sweet. So then, we tap into it, right? And there he goes. He's off. He's running. He's a non-stop knight. And down here at the bottom, of course, we've got the skills. Like, for example, I get the sweet whirl attack, which uh, also freezes enemies and slows down their attack, which is quite handy. Uh, it means that they're dealing get less damage to me, of course, right? I just did a, a clone skill right there, so now I've got a, a clone of me, which will also deal damage. I've also got this leap attack, and uh, you can see like a big like gold explosion right there. That's actually because of the, the skill mod. If we go to the skill section here, and here we can see the skill book with the skills that I've got unlocked and also we can see, for example, with the leap and the, the gold explosion there, I've actually got a, um, a modifier or kind of like a rune stone, if you will. Uh, this modifier causes when I leap and smash into the ground, I earn bonus coins, which is great because you need coins to upgrade your gear. But we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, also really good is the, the double leap and smash holds two charges and um, you can have like an alternative skill too as well like currently I'm using the the frost whirl and there you can see all of the uh, the modifiers that I've got there but then I later earned uh, splash and of course it's got its own modifiers with like double and um, and splash there the slam skill and let's see what else have we got here oh clone this is the one that I was just using right I haven't earned a, uh, a new modifier yet, but this one's really nice because uh, kind of like the uh, the leap and the double, I've also got a, a mod for the clone skill, which gives me two charges of that as well. So I can have two buddies suddenly charging uh, right next to me in the heat of battle. Oh, I've got a treasure chest. Let's tap it. What's that? Ah, okay. So special offer. Being that this is a, a free to play game um, and they don't really want to like, how can I say? They don't want to scalp you, I suppose, with microtransactions that, you know, will make it basically pay to win, right? Uh, instead, what they do is they offer, you don't have to do it, but you can watch a, a like, for example, a really short video, uh, which is just basically a trailer for another game. There's, I got 420,000. The cooldown timers on pretty much every skill is fairly short, only like 15 seconds, I think, for the uh, the clone skill, 10 seconds for the leap, so there's like a near constant amount of, of action that you can be engaged in when you're playing this game. It's really designed just to be kind of, you know, something that you do, for example, maybe on a train ride, ride in the car with your buddy or something like that when you're going to like McDonald's or, or whatever, right? Uh, you just like pull out your device and then you start kicking butt with your knight. 
So then, you know, after a while, you will probably eventually come across the point where you will have this up here at the top. It says battle, and then it says impossible. Impossible is showing the, uh, the difficulty of the boss fight that is waiting for me. Yes, the bosses actually wait for you, um, <laughs> which I think is, is, is kind of, kind of interesting, but it, it's designed like that, so that way your knight is always doing something. Like, let's put it this way. He knows where the boss is, and he's waiting for you to and your help, so that way he can take him properly. Um, and to do it properly, you need to probably do th two things. One, you probably need to consider what skills that you want to bring for the boss fight, because farming minions and fighting bosses are two completely different things uh you will more than likely need to tune your skills to uh to handle each situation differently so i'm gonna go with uh the slam skill and i'm going to go with double what this will do is it will hold two charges of the slam skill so what i often do is to just to kind of like burst like down the uh the boss is i'll have as, as many like multi-charge skills as as I can hold for example like these slam so I can just get up to the boss and be like bam bam and and do both of my charges like that I don't need coins anymore uh, so I'm switching yeah there it is it's on double I mean I do need coins but not for the boss fight <laughs> I need those two charges those those two charges for leap can save my butt definitely uh, and then always I've got the uh, the two charges on my clone skill okay so there we go my skills are set up, but we can also, and this is recommended as well by me, to also tune my gear. You can hold multiple pieces of gear that you have earned as you go. And currently, I'm using the Sneak Sword, which gives me bonus damage after kill and bonus armor after kill. But it's usually just one boss, unless he summons uh, little minions, which could maybe make this sword useful, but I don't want to like expect that i'm gonna go ahead and change my weapon to this chipping axe which is okay and it gives me a bonus 29 percent damage so i'm gonna go with that and uh, notice that um like while i'm doing this the knight has slowed down he's given me time to to make adjustments to his gear right <laughs> uh so my chipping axe is looking pretty good notice also that uh, now the the rating for the boss fight says very hard instead of impossible. That, that's because the chipping axe is substantially better than my snake sword as far as the upgrades. But that's the point of the gold, uh, which I guess that's where we're getting into now. I can take the gold that I've earned and spend it to increase the, uh, the levels of my gear. So same for mossy armor. I've only got one piece here. Uh, but this gives me dodge chance and armor, which I thought is good for both farming minions and for also uh, boss fights. I'll pump a couple levels into that. I've also got, this is a sweet cloak right here, the Emperor. It actually has kind of like this legendary perk, gain double damage when full HP. Pretty sweet. Uh, damage after skill and also bonus armor. So um, I'm gonna pump a couple uh, levels into that because I've got the money. I got the monies for it. Uh, so now, yep, it's saying very hard. Which, um, you know, depending on where you are progression-wise in this game, could could actually mean very hard, or it might not be so bad. It, and, of course, your skill, like, while doing these um, these battles also makes a difference. One thing I wanted to, to point out before we get into the boss fight is uh, notice that... Actually, we'll also demonstrate these skills here as we're going. Notice that uh, in between fights, the, the knight completely... Most of the time, he will completely heal before he makes it to the next group. There's, uh, There are no like health potions that you need to be worrying about. All you need to be concerned about is the timing of your skills, basically. So you can see like just above the skills, there's like a, kind of like a counter for like the buffs that I'm getting from my armor and also like the uh, the active time for my skills. There's a nice like timer in the skill as well for the, uh, the cooldown uh, rating that we're currently sitting on. All right, so it's boss time. I'm definitely hyped for this boss because if I can beat him, that's going to put me at uh, at the 60th floor and why do the floors matter well because there's a leaderboard actually and if i can b 
beat, like for example, uh, Gene Alex, who's up at number five, then I'll be top five on the leaderboards, and then I'll have like serious bragging rights then. But currently I'm six, I'm sitting on the, the 59th floor, which is okay. Uh, let's get into this boss battle, shall we? So, as soon as I touch this button, Boom! I'm gonna heal to full, all my skills are gonna come off a cooldown, and it's time. I'm gonna start by summoning my clones, who should engage the boss first. Ah, oh, he's got a shield up! Oh, but we totally destroyed him! Like, <laughs> at this point in, in my progression, the rating for how difficult the boss fight is, isn't always necessarily accurately telling me how hard it may be. Like, early on, Hard was was pretty challenging, very hard was very hard, and impossible truly was just flat out impossible, but because of the progression that um, I'm currently in, and we'll get into progression here in a minute, uh, then the rating is kind of skewed a little bit easier, just a little bit. Alright, so we got a silver chest, what's inside? We got a cape. Now I'm kind of doubtful that this cape is, is as good if, or better than my current legendary cape. What did I... Aha! Ooh, I got a new rune stone for my clone. Summon a clone with a healing aura. <gasps> Dude, that changes the game right there for boss fights. Definitely. Oh, damn. Okay, and what is this? I got like some kind of ah, achievement right here. This is how you will earn the, uh, the purple gems. And the purple gems can be used, of course, on the shop. This is a big deal for, for people and it kind of makes or breaks whether they are interested in a mobile game or not, is depending on the whole microtransactions situation. But as I said with the um, with the, the watching of trailers to, uh, to earn rewards, it makes it very easy, I think, and kind of less stressful, like as, as a player to be able to get everything for free uh, simply by playing the game and just maybe, you know, watching those trailers if you're up for it. And um, if you want to, right, if you want to, you can invest in buying the uh, the gems. Actually, if we scroll down here, we can see it's it's displayed in Japanese can't, yen because, of course, I'm in Japan, right? Um, there we go. It's showing the uh, the prices. So 600 yen, that's actually about, mm, I want to say $6 or something like that. And it will earn me uh, 275 gems. And then those gems can be used to uh, to buy very simple things like you may buy a, a treasure chest it might have a good item inside or just straight buy gold which will enhance your uh, your gear right but that's totally optional I mean it, like a lot of games that are free to play not just mobile games but lots of RPGs that are free to play in general that are free to play it's there as an option right it's sort of like pay to accelerate but it's definitely not pay to win i haven't put anything into this yet and i'm having a blast so there we can see uh like for example like i said what you can earn or what you can buy i should say once you've earned the uh the purple gems and so far in just the couple of days that i've been playing i've got 66 gems which isn't bad at all so um the next thing i wanted to do is actually yeah let's check out the the new cloak we unlock it which just kind of like reveals what it is and it says plus 41 percent critical hit damage so when i do uh get the critical hit chance then i'll do extra critical hit damage which is pretty cool um but it's nowhere near as awesome i think as my emperor's cloak so what i'll actually do and this is another money making uh kind of method is you can just sell the gear right bam Sold that, and now I got a ton of gold for it. Uh, actually, uh, no, I'm gonna keep, gonna keep that stuff. I'm also gonna go back to my snake sword because I'm back to just farming minions. I'm not fighting bosses. Uh, same for my skills. We'll go back to gold. I really like my my frost whirl, my frost sword, and I'm gonna. You know what? Let's try. Let's try the healing clone and see. How good that is actually wow yeah that healing boost definitely helps out like as soon as I click that that heal or that clone man he just like healed me up substantially right there that's very good I, I still don't think I need that for just regular minion farming so I'm gonna go back to the double and the double will essentially allow me to have a, a clone all the time as soon like as soon as he will despawn, then I'll have another charge waiting for me to cast and um, to summon another clone. We can see the counter there. 
Bam, that clone left, here comes my new clone. And the cycle continues. So then, as we go, we will kill the required minions we need, like I said, for clearing the level, and then eventually, <clears throat> once you've cleared enough levels, you will get to the next boss, right? I'm gonna go ahead and summon both of my, my guys right there. Oh my god, nice! Three enemies killed at once. Boom! Man, that, that gold explosion is so good, man. That has helped me out so much with, um, with this current character. I say current character, and I keep, I keep holding back from revealing this to you guys, because I'm, I'm getting there, right? I'm getting there. But there is the Ascension uh, feature here in this game, and I'm not sure if I, I, I mean, I probably should do it. I, yeah, I should probably do it. Uh, the Ascension, right, and the whole progression system is quite interesting. What you will basically do, because your nonstop night is dungeon crawling down, right, you will ascend sort of back to the first level. Right, let's just take a look at it, actually, because here it will say, Start a new adventure from the first floor and earn rewards that make you permanently stronger. You will lose your items and coins but it's worth it. <laughs> it, it. It is totally worth it. I mean, the, the first time I did it, I was very skeptical. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm going to lose all my items and I'm going to lose my coins. What am I getting out of it? Well, actually what you're getting are these tokens. You might have noticed from the, the shop earlier, right, that there are these night upgrades with uh, the, the token costs. Well, you get tokens as you progress down in through the dungeon with your knight and you don't get to spend them until you ascend, right? And then when you ascend, what you'll do is at the beginning of that first level, you can go ahead and spend your tokens to give you those permanent, permanent, right? Permanent buffs to, for example, your skill damage, your raw damage, armor, token gain, uh, gold gains and stuff like that. Like I've gained so much more gold because I purchased with the tokens a, uh, a gold uh, bonus permanent bonus these are permanent bonuses I can't stress that enough right but and so that's what really makes it worth it is yes you lose your your level progression and you lose your items you'll go back to level one but you also are like insanely more powerful you will gain so much more money etc etc let's just go ahead and do it so that way you guys can actually see actually I've got a boss fight waiting for me now ah okay I want to try I want to try the boss Let's um let's adjust our skills again. So we're going back to skills. I'm gonna I'm I'm doing my 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 one trick pony again, right? With slam, with double, uh, with double leap, and this time we're gonna go with the heal. And now we will put this to the test and see just how good this actually is. I need to also switch to my chipping axe. And you know what? Since I am sitting on so much gold, I might as well spend it, right? This is gonna, this is probably gonna like I've got so much gold waiting for me. This is probably gonna make it drop down to like hard or something like that. This chipping axe is gonna be insanely powerful. By the time I get done spending all this, oh oh, there we go. Okay, so I've just spent all of my freaking gold. It still says very hard. But, I mean, after what we saw in the last boss fight, I'm pretty confident. Let's go. Pack leader Carl. All right, Carl, let's see what you got, buddy. Oh, he summoned a bunch of uh, pets with him. And they're totally distracting. Oh, but we win. We still win, baby. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. I got a swamp chest? I've never seen this before. What is this? Oh, that's probably a new mossy helm. Swamp, moss, you know. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. I'm really curious about this. It totally is. It's a mossy armor. Uh, it gives me a, a, a nice base armor increase. Armor after getting hit as well. That is quite nice. That is quite nice indeed. Um, notice that as soon as I, I killed that boss, like there was like um, a chest that went up into the, the ascension category, right? And there we can see I've got uh, two of these, these chest thingies here. So, like I wanna do this, but I don't really wanna do this. Ah, uh, let's do it, ascend. Okay, so there goes all my coins. 
and all my gold, but I'm gonna like turn Super Saiyan now after that. Sip oh wow dude. The first time I, I, I ascended, I think I only had like a handful of coins. The second time I did it, I had like a hundred something or whatever, and that really helped empower me. Now I have 764. That is insane right there. I'm gonna have so many new permanent buffs. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, congratulations, you earned a reward. Ah, it's a revive potion. In case you go down in the middle of a boss fight, you can actually uh, drink a potion. That's the one potion I think that's in this game, right? And it will revive you instantly, which will put you back into the fight, so that way you can continue to fight the boss in that, that, that point that you went down, uh, in case the boss is like stupid hard, right? And you're really determined to keep going. Uh, we've got a, a second chest. Another 76 freaking tokens. Wow. 841 tokens. Okay, so let's go shopping. So I'm looking for... I can't really like scroll through all of the available upgrades. I kind of have to purchase them as they are... as they're shown. I really think I should get that, that token gain right there. 20, plus 25% token gain sounds amazing. Do it. Okay. And I still haven't done a, an armor upgrade. I think we should do that. This is this one's really cheap. Only 40 tokens for 60% armor. Right? Okay. Uh, ooh, look at that. Plus 20% to offline coins. Oh, dude. Yes, totally. We gotta go for that. Okay, so, um... Wow, 625 for that third weapon upgrade. I, I haven't done a weapon grade upgrade either, so we should probably do that. The skill damage, weapon upgrade. Okay, so now I'm sitting on 428 left, and I still have a lot of really great options here for upgrades. I mean, basically my options are I can either get... For example, the 100% damage increase, and that will probably be the last purchase that I can make. Or, I can do both the 120% skill damage, and I can also get another plus 80% armor, which is going to make me insanely tanky. Oh man, that's tough. I think, I think I'm going to go for the skill damage and the armor upgrades. Oh wow, wait, we have a new challenger that just arrived, plus 10% frenzy time. We're going to get into frenzy here in a second, but mm, nah, I think I'm going to go with the, the armor upgrade. And that's it, that's that's all that I can afford. Uh, shame actually that one of my chests that what had like 70 some coins, I, I can't even really spend that. But it, it carries over, right? Uh, you, you keep your your coin pool, so my tokens will be waiting for me the next time that I I ascend. And so yeah, we're good. So now, we're, we're we, <laughs> in the meantime, he's already cleared a floor, it looks like. Um, I've got all my skills from, from before. Those haven't been lost. Uh, we're gonna go back to gold, going back to frost, and back to double clones. So there we go. The adventure begins anew. And I guess, okay, so now we have these potions, right? These potions are badass. Talk about, like, fast progression. Watch this. Frenzy potion. Earn faster, earn more. Drink this potion and go super nonstop for a short while, right? So that's what the, the bonus to frenzy was, plus 10%. Uh, what, I guess time, wasn't it, for, uh, for the potion? But I think the other upgrades I got were totally worth it. So here we go. Drink the potion. Talk about Super Saiyan, man. He's just gonna go bonkers, <laughs> as it said there. So now you can see there's a new timer up there uh, towards the top, and he's just just going completely berserk. I got a spectacular. I've never even seen spectacular before. So he's going super fast now. He's super aggressive. He teleports. He doesn't run anymore. He freaking teleports to the next enemy spot, right? Wow, that's awesome change floors. Um, he will actually go straight into a boss fight like this as well. You don't even need to um, 
to engage like the you know go for boss button he just goes straight for the boss because you're probably going to tear him apart anyway during this uh super non-stop phase so there we go we're on the next floor dude we've cleared so many f oh my wow we've cleared so many floors in such a short amount of time so this is going to help you catch up to the point where you had ascended from right there we go Mesquilas, I, I hit that leap on as soon as it's off a of cooldown because it is a huge explo- There's the boss. It's a huge explosion of gold, right? And I am wrecking this boss. Oh my Clones leap go. Oh Okay, so there we go the the super non-stop phase just ended uh, and we're already on level six, which is pretty crazy all right, so what did we get? We've got some kind of achievement. Uh, skill stir, multi-kill 50 enemies. So there's two purple gems that I've earned from that. This is how uh, you can easily get lots of gems for the uh, the cash stuff, right? I've actually got another frenzy potion waiting, but first, I want to take a look at my chests. I've got a bronze chest with a one-star cape. Let's take a look at that. Unlock its, wow, plus 43% 40 armor. That is... That is boss right there. Let's bump it up a few levels. There we go. Uh, we had another chest waiting for us too. I think this is going to be a weapon or is it armor? It's a weapon. Let's take a look. We got a wood splitter. I had a ham. I wish I... <laughs> I still had that ham, but that that whacking ham that I had was just so awesome. So plus 10% attack speed after kill. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and take these. So then with the older gear, because these have like no bonuses, it's just like insta-sell. Right, the the old cloak, the old sword. I definitely don't need these, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell them for whatever gold they're worth. And there we go, wood splitter. Pump some levels into it, baby, because I like 10% speed after kill. That's pretty sweet. Okay, like think of think of how insane that's gonna be here when I do this next frenzy potion. You know what though? I'm actually thinking of just holding on to. That frenzy potion for now, I don't need to use it. Like, it's totally in my face right now. It's like, use the potion! But you don't have to, right? You don't have to click on any of that stuff. If you don't want to yet, you can totally save it for later. And so I think, because I'm clearing these stages with crazy ease anyway right now, I think it will actually hold on to that potion for when things get a little bit tougher. And then because of that speed, that will actually help to, to push me, like, maybe through, I don't know, once I get like to levels 10 and up, that will help to, to push me through some of those those levels right there. Wow, look at that, dude. Okay, battle time, go. This game is crazy addicting. The fool, the fool awaits us. And he is a fool indeed because he is no match for the non-stop knight. Congratulations, bronze chests. Aha, so like I said, Cape, weapon, armor, right? <laughs> so here we go, unlock that. 16% attack speed when low HP. Yeah, there's uh, there's some interesting, there's interesting ways in which these uh, these perks, right, will, will activate. It may activate, uh, you know, because of, for example, low HP, or it may not need any kind of activation at all, like the other item just gives me, you know, straight up armor, right? There are no conditions for it other than wearing the piece, of course. I will definitely take that and Pump some levels into it. There we go. And get rid of the old armor. So there we go. We've sold that. And I think that is good for now, guys. I think I covered pretty much the the most important bits from uh, the basics to a little bit of the the advanced, right? On how to uh, how to dominate at nonstop night. Like I said, I've got this thing like sitting next to me, you know. <laughs> just like going at it, man. He he's a really is a non-stop knight and I can just like sit here and do other things where I can, you know, put that on like when I'm on the train or something like that. This is a pretty sweet game, guys. Uh, if you're looking for a a very uh, laid back dungeon crawling game for your smartphone, your smart tablet, or whatever, you should definitely check out Nonstop Night. It's a pretty sweet game. At first, I was really skeptical, like because it just like it looked so casual, I didn't think I could get into it, but I can totally get into it. It's pretty sweet. <laughs>
Let me know what you guys think now down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support these first look videos here on the channel. And if you like these mobile reviews, then I will totally do mo more mobile reviews for these first look videos. Uh, as the technology gets better with like, you know, Nvidia Shield tablets and, you know, whatever new iPad is coming out and stuff like that. The graphics and, you know, the depth of these games is getting more and more impressive. Of course, it can just stay, you know, super simple and still be really fun as well. Also, definitely check the description of this video. I've got a couple links down there you should definitely check out if you're interested in Nonstop Night. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. My name is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time. Boss time. Let's do this, pack leader Carl. Oh, we meet again, you son of a bitch. Die. You die a dog's death. <laughs> Silver chest. I will take that. <gasps> I got a samurai sword. Wait a minute, did we skip the cape? That totally just destroyed my theory that it would that the items always going in order. <laughs> More coins, check out the samurai sword. Dude, seriously? <gasps> and it, of course it has critical hit chance. Oh, hey, oh yes. Sharp katana, go. Oh my, dude, you look so awesome now with that. Die, you scum. You are no match for the non-stop knight. <laughs>